Today is the day of the Lord. Let's welcome the Sunday homily with Father Ryan RCJ. We are in the new liturgical season, and this season is called as the season of Lent. Many people are afraid of Lent because when we speak about Lent, we always talk about penance, repentance. And it's true enough. Lent is all about penance, repentance, fasting in preparation for the great feast of Easter. That's why those who have the great fast in Lent are worthy enough to celebrate the great feast of Easter. Every first Sunday of Lent, the Gospel speaks about the temptation of Jesus in the desert. Many preachers and scholars call this Sunday as a temptation Sunday. But some scholars and preachers, they call this Sunday as Christ in the Desert Sunday. Jesus is tempted by Satan in the desert for 40 days. And we know 40 is a very symbolical number. 40 reminds us the 40 years of journey in the desert of the Israelites before they entered in the Promised Land. Moses also spent 40 days and 40 nights in Mount Sinai. And the prophet Elijah journeyed to Mount Horeb for 40 days and 40 nights. That is why Lent is something that we are going to embrace gladly with joy and happiness because this is our way in order for us to experience joyfully the feast of Easter. And it's important for us to experience desert during this season of Lent. I heard one man who told, I don't like desert, but I like dessert. Yeah! Many do not like desert because in the desert there is plenty of wild beasts wild animals it's a dry land there there will be hunger but we know after these 40 days of the experience of jesus in the desert jesus came out victoriously and afterwards he preached the kingdom of god to the people he started his public ministry as he proclaimed the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. Desert is not only a place of the beasts and wild animals. Desert is also an important place to encounter the Lord. There is God. God is present in the desert. And in our gospel reading for this first Sunday of Lent is taken from the gospel of St. Mark. The shortest account of the temptation of Jesus. And on this account of St. Mark, we have heard that Jesus was driven by the Holy Spirit out into the desert. And the angels ministered to him. In other words, God is always present. And God is always faithful to his covenant that He is with us forever, that He is always with us. In our first reading, we have reminded the great flood during the time of Noah. God purified the earth through this water, through this flood. At the same time, on our first reading today, God promised and established a covenant with the people that He is never again punish or destroy the world by water. And there is a bow in the clouds that signifies, that reminds this covenant of the Lord. When the Lord makes His covenant, He keeps it because our God is faithful. And this is the thing that we have to learn on this first Sunday of Lent, that during the times of our trials, sufferings, agony, or desert experience, God is always with us. God never abandons us. 
He is always at our side. In this time of temptation, the Lord is reminding us to humble ourselves and to tell to the Lord, Lord, with my own power, with my own capacity, I cannot be victorious with these trials and temptations. Please help me. Please guide me. Please lead me so that I may become victorious and triumphant this moment of trials and temptations. Because I know, Lord, you are always there. You are always with me because you are faithful and loyal to your covenant with us. Thanks for watching. And this is Father Ryan Jimenez of the Rogation is to the Heart of Jesus who always says, Purihin ang Diyos, purihin ang Panginoon. God bless you all.